Hey everybody, welcome back to Mini Bike Mike CT70 Garage. And obviously we don't have a CT70 on the table. Uh, I posted a picture a few days ago of this C102, uh, I'm gonna call it. I don't know much about these bikes. That's the, the beginning of the VIN number. I know they made a C100 and a C105. And I can't even begin to tell you the difference between all the bikes, but uh, this is a C102. Unfortunately, what you see is is uh, what I picked up, and I, I picked it up because it was cheap, just a couple hundred bucks, but uh, I got a bike, I got the fairing or fender cover, what, or a leg shield, whatever you want to call that that goes there. He did have the exhaust. I did not get a side case or the cover for this. Luckily, this was screwed in there that I do have that. Uh, and I do not have the engine cover. Um, it looks like they broke the kickstart shaft. Broke it completely off, it looks like. I'm not going to focus on it. Oh, well. Yeah, there it goes. Maybe. Yeah, it keeps wanting to focus on something else. Anyway, so somebody, um, I don't think it was the guy I got the bike off of. The way he kind of talked, it was maybe a relative of his or something. It broke, they took it apart, they took all this stuff off to fix it, put the parts, you know, maybe in a box, and who knows where the box is at. So, um, anyway, I don't have everything. So, uh, I'm going to put a Lifen in it. I don't have the Lifen engine yet. I had to pick up a semi-automatic. This thing doesn't have a clutch. and really doesn't have a good place to put a clutch lever on it. Uh, so we're going to go with a semi-automatic engine so that we don't have to have a clutch cable and a clutch lever. Um, but that's not due in here for a few more days. So today's video is we're just going to kind of strip it down and get it ready. Take this engine out, box everything up. Hopefully we won't lose it. But, uh, you know, we may put this engine back in at one of these days or, or sell it when we sell the bike to whoever gets it, but uh, you know that's that's another video for down the road. So it's actually in pretty good shape. Uh, do have this side case. I do have the key. Uh, I do have that key that goes with it. Um, can you see how many? 4,600 miles, is that what that says? But everything seems to be in good shape. The plastic fender is in good shape. Uh, the headlight is in good shape the housing nothing's broke this is all plastic this is this is steel up here it's got the turn signals uh i am missing a cover the little red cover on that turn signal see how it's got one here i'm missing the red one on this side um some guys ask about a dual sprocket. I don't know what kind of, since it's covered up, I'm, I'm guessing there's no, it's just gonna be a single chain, single sprocket, you know, typical setup. I don't see any kind of, you know, high, low, like on a CT90 or a CT200. So I don't think it has any of that. But anyway, I, I don't know if the seat has been recovered or if it's just in that good a shape. Got the tank underneath. But the seat is in really, really nice shape. Might need to be cleaned up a little bit, but no rips, no tears. The bleeding of the letters makes me feel that maybe it's a seat cover, but I, I might be wrong. Like I said, I'm just not knowledgeable on these bikes. But I thought, you know, for a couple hundred bucks, it's a it's different than what we normally do. So I'm gonna put you in a stand, get out some tools, and I think we'll just start taking it apart. So at this point, I really don't plan on taking off really anything that I don't have to other than, you know, to swap the life and engine. Oh, well, we're off to a flying start. How's that come off of there? 
Oh, there's a bracket there, so let's get this off first. Um, you know, I don't feel the need to take the rims and the tires. You know, uh, rims, tires, brakes, fenders, seat, headlight, all that. I'm up in the air as to whether or not we're going to hook lights up onto it or just put an engine and get it to run. I really need to get you know a close-up of this carburetor setup on this. I meant to do that before we started taking it apart and then forgot. But what a unique carburetor this thing has. So you've got you know on and reserve lines open and reserve it says uh, there was a hole in the fairing or the leg shield that lets you reach in and and grab and turn this the rest of this was covered but it it comes in and fills the bowl and then the slide is actually horizontal And the carburetor looks in really good shape. The whole engine looks great. You know, I wish I had the parts. I, I may have to see if I can scrounge some parts. And But that's just a unique little carburetor. Let's go to the other side. You know, you've got the idle and the air adjustment screws. Is this a choke? Yeah, there's a choke. So, yeah, just uh, I just thought the carburetor was kind of Interesting looking. Oh, I'm not sitting in my stand right. You know, they broke the uh the kickstarter on it you know the thing had a, an electric start right here i guess you know you could have just kept running it with the uh electric start i guess they chose not to do that oh wow look at this that was that's a shocker i was expecting a you know a battery about half the size of this thing was going to pull out of there wow you know, like a CT70 size battery. I'm uh, shocked at how big this battery is. Oh, and that one's got a nut on it. Hmm, I guess the other one too, but the nut was stuck to the post. Wow, that's a that's a really good sized battery. Well, shoot. Get it. Let's see what else we got. I'm just trying to get everything loose. Looks like it's missing the, the brake switch to turn the brake lights on. That's probably the two wires that went to the brake switch. It's missing the spring that activated it from the from the brake lever. Not a big deal. Hmm. Wonder what uh, that loose black wire. That's obviously the ground. Wonder what that went to up in here. So there is some funkiness with the wiring anyway. Okay, so the coil's mounted up inside the frame and comes out. The plug's actually on the other side. Okay, let's, uh, we're just going to wind up cutting these fuel lines. Okay. Oh boy, there's a little bit of old nasty gas in it. I'll just let it all over the table here. We're not going to be starting it today, so. Whew. That is some uh, stinky gas, too.
Okay. Somebody's had it apart because they've got uh, color-coded tape on things so that they made sure they got it back in the right spot. Sorry, but I'm taking the time to put some of this hardware back into where I took it off. I'm trying to anyway. really cooperating with me though. There we go. Okay, so those were the wires from the engine. What is this black line? Uh, some kind of overflow or something from the carburetor. Alright, so we got that, we got that. You can unplug the spark plug wire for now. So I think we've got everything unplugged. We could actually pull the engine. It's already missing the foot pegs. We should be able to leave the kickstand assembly on there. Well, let's try a deep well. 14 millimeter socket. Doesn't act like that's what it is. Hmm. It's tight, whatever it is. Yes, we're turning the whole thing. What do we got over here? Well, we're going to have to come on this side, bring you over here, because we got some stuff to take off on this side. They're all loose. Well, that doesn't act like it's screwed into anything. Okay. Wow, it's really clean. I mean, it's dusty, dirty, but I mean, it's clean. Well, they didn't, they didn't write it in a very dirty mud or anything. Obviously, this was just a street bike. I, I did not get a title for it. Kind of wish I had gotten a title for it. But we did not. Now can we get a wrench on that bottom? There. Tell me if it falls off. I think it fell off. <laughs> there we go. 
I'll hold that and I don't know if you're seeing it or not. You might not be looking high enough. I'm going to take this other side case. Oh, look at that. Took the other side case off just so I don't break it. It's got a tool. It's got the tool case in it. That's pretty cool. And nothing else really behind it. Just the, uh, just the key switch. Okay, which way am I going to be turning now? Let me turn it so this it's going to want to go this way, isn't it? Oh, you dog, stay. I need one of you guys here to help me. Try one more time here. As soon as I wiggle this just a little bit, Break it loose. Come on, guys. Somebody out there screaming a better way to do this, aren't you? And I'm not hearing you. Man, I'm going to have to tape that on there. I've done that before. I'm going to have to go get a piece of tape and tape that in place. All right, I won't bore you any longer. I'll, uh, of course, I don't have the right wrench to get that one off either. So let me get, uh, let me get those loose, and then I'll bring you back. All right, I wound up putting the wrench on the other side. And I was able to break it loose. We'll know the nuts all off when a wrench falls, I guess. Nope, didn't fall. There it all fell. What holds the coil? You know what? I think I'm going to back you guys up. See if I can get the bolts, the screws, or whatever they are. Oh, wrong way. This tank is held on. I bet these weren't. I bet these have been replaced. I can't believe these would have been a JIS or a Phillips screw right here. I bet these were would have originally been a 10 millimeter and I'm basing that on some CT90s that I've worked on that had the same type of tank and frame set up and I don't remember these being a JIS screw there. Go ahead and maybe Let's 
we'll try and wire it with the uh, original switch so we can keep that. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off for right now. take the chain guard off while we're on this side yeah you guys can still see that just while we're over here so we can kind of get a look see how many teeth sprocket we're dealing with back here Everything's falling off. There's the bottom. Guessing that one screw right there, maybe it's the last one that holds the top. Oh, can you not get it off? without taking the shock off. Looks like a brand new sprocket put on there. I think somebody's done some work to this bike. I was trying to see if it had a number on it, like how many teeth it had. What would you guess? 35, maybe? 35 and... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Had a 14, 35 roughly, 36. Not really sure. That looks... Okay. The chain looks almost brand new. Huh. Somebody was definitely doing some work. All right. We were taking this gas tank off. And the reason I'm taking the gas tank off is so I can get access maybe to the wiring. I know I said I wasn't going to take off anything I didn't need to, but I really do think I need to take this off. Yeah, that's okay. So to get that coil out, yeah, those are newer fuel lines. Somebody, somebody was doing... A little work to this thing. Not tight. Not tight at all. Okay. 
Hmm, looks like you gotta take the uh, cap off the end of the wire here to get it through that hole. Wow, this fuel is incredibly smelly. This would have been the air box. I don't know if you guys, uh, yeah, it's got the air filter in it. Okay. Okay, before we go any further, since I've never had one of these bikes, And I'm pretty certain that a life and will bolt into it. We're going to, uh, I've got a uh, setup engine. We're going to make sure it bolts in there. You know what? I've only got two wires coming out over here, a brown wire and a green wire. That is the only wires I see that go to the back end. Now, how in the world can we have turn signals? and tail lights and all that and only two wires hmm well that might be for the next video after we get the engine but that's that's odd well okay i feel wiring on the turn signal But it must just end up in here somewhere. We're going to have to pull the rear wheel when we go to wire it. Okay. Let's, uh... I've got an old gutted engine case. And let's just check and make sure that it has the same bolt pattern as the other little Hondas. Looks like it's going to. Maybe. Yeah, I believe it will. We might have a... Uh... We're hitting something. I wonder if we're hitting on the frame right there. We might have to uh, to grind and tweak a little bit of the frame because it's not letting the engine down far enough for this hole to line up 100%. I'd really like it to, uh, to rotate. I'll tell you what, let's try this. I don't think it's gonna make any difference. Well, by golly, I think it did, actually. It's super tight. I don't really, I don't like it. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, do some clearancing on the frame for when we go to put the life in. in. Okay. Well, guys, I think we'll stop there. Because like I said, I'll clean this mess up. Uh, we still need to get the life and engine. Uh, that's not due for another two or three days. And so we'll save that for another video. We'll need to uh, pull the... Gonna have to pull this rear tire. Because we gotta figure out where the wiring to all these lights ends up so all right well just a little short one um i think while i've got you let's air up the tires the tires are flat and we'll see if they hold air for the time we make the next video in a few days or if we're going to need to fix some tubes or
Kick some tires. Okay. Don't hear anything right off the bat. It tells me it's going to have issues. Seems good. Awesome. Well, guys, I think I'm going to uh, stop right there. You know what? We could probably go ahead. Let's pull this headlight apart. See what we got back behind this headlight. What kind of wiring mess we're going to have back here. Let's see. Where's my screwdriver? neutral wire. I don't want to pull it out of the bullet connector. Hang on a second. Let's get it with a pair of pliers and see if we can break the loosen up the connection here. Yeah, there we go. So it's got a little indicator up there, which is for the neutral indicator. I'm just going to go ahead and plug, unplug any and everything I can. All right, they've got that. There's the white wire for that. I've got the ground actually bolted straight to the, the, frame, the front end. So I'm going to take that. And we got lucky. It does have a uh, replaceable, it does have the replaceable type bulb. So we can put, if we want to put a uh, 12 volt headlight in it, we can, you know, to go with our life and engine, which is good. Let's see. Ah, oh, what the heck? Let's just keep going here. I need to get some of these things out of the way to get to the wiring harness. Washer, don't lose that. Is there any other hardware on that or is that come, oh, come off? I hope we got one more bolt inside there, just like we head for the headlight ground. There's a second one right here. Okay, so that I have to take that back out. Oh, we got a piece of plastic broke. Not a uh, huge deal, but where the bolts go through this piece on the right there, the plastic's broken, but we can we can deal with that. Oh. Alright, so that's oh boy. We got wires everywhere. We'll have to figure out all that. 
That goes up to the headlight. That's a horn. We need the horn there. So these wires are part of the harness. Got some kind of clip holding it. take the horn all the way off but I think we're gonna have to take the horn off I have this same style front end front forks the leading link that they call it uh, on my Honda S65 and it is a really comfortable front end so I have tore into these front ends before. All right, we've got a, yeah, we got just a little bit of like wire loom. There we go, there we go. And there's the harness out. So we'll need to figure out what is turn signal wires speedometer illumination, headlight turn on and off, all those good things. Uh, does it have a front brake switch? No, it does not have a front brake switch. It does have a, oh, you know what? This thing had electric start. So one of those, it's got a button on each side. One's horn, one's electric start. So we've got some of those things to, to figure out. Anyway, all right, I think we'll call it quits there. That's probably been long enough. But you make a mess doing this. Boy, you got parts laying everywhere and nuts and bolts. And But I know she looks rough now, but we're going to make a runner out of her. Uh, something just to tool around on. So guys, hang with me. We'll have uh, another vi one more video where we put the engine in it and hook up what lights we're going to hook up. I'm going to I'm going to give it some thought. Not sure exactly if I, you know, since it's not going to be a uh, I don't have a title for it, but you know, if I get the lights working, you can probably ride it on the road and throw a plate from another bike on it. They never they never know. Especially in where I'm at, they don't question it. You know, all my bikes are red. They're all little Hondas. I have yet to, I've only been pulled over once or twice, and it was really from a police officer who just wanted to look at the bike. He really wasn't pulling me over to, uh, because I was doing anything wrong, and they never checked the VIN, so don't tell anybody I said that, though, so, you know, they'll be hunting me down. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Uh, we will see you in a few days, uh, a week or something like that. It's uh, today's Tuesday, and the Life in 110 semi-automatic that I've got coming is not coming in until Friday, so... Uh, it'll be at least, it'll probably be close to a week before we put the next video up. So anyway, appreciate you hanging out with me uh, and we will see you on the next one later.